Why play Shivana Jungle? Well, she is a brilliant duelist. She deals ridiculous amounts of AoE damage, she is mannerless so can spam abilities, and she's very easy to pick up and play. However, she's not the tankiest for a champion that wants to go in, and she is far less effective without her ultimate. Shivana's passive is she gains 5 bonus armor and magic resist, and she gains an additional 5 for each dragon her team kills. In addition, she deals increased damage to dragons. Shivana's Q is an auto attack reset, which makes her next attack deal bonus damage and hit twice, with the second attack dealing reduced damage. After using Q, her next two attacks come out much faster, and basic attacks reduce this ability's cooldown. While in dragon form, this attack hits in a massive cone in front of her. Shivana's W creates a circle around her which gives her bonus movement speed and damages nearby enemies. When she attacks, she extends the duration of this ability up to an additional 4 seconds. While in dragon form, the circle around her is larger. Shivana's E is a straight line skill shot, which deals damage to all enemies hit and stops upon hitting an enemy champion and marks them all. Shivana's attacks against marked champions deal a large amount of bonus damage. And while in dragon form, this is a straight line skill shot which explodes in a circle at the end dealing massive amounts of AoE damage. Shivana's ultimate has a passive where it needs 100 fury to cast. She gains fury over time and when attacking. The active turns her into her dragon form where she dashes forward in a large line dealing damage to and carrying enemies with her. While in dragon form, she has increased health, range and size. For combos, your go-to will be to use W into your E, attack into Q and then keep attacking away. With ultimate, use W and then ultimate into your opponent. From here, attack into your Q and E before spamming away with more attacks and abilities. For matchups, she is great into bruiser junglers, easily tanking their damage while putting out too much for them to deal with. And she can struggle against champions who can easily kite her. For runes, take this. Fleet allows you to chase down opponents. For build order, start Red Monster and Pot into a Shoujins and Tier 2 boots. After this, Eleanderism and Riftmaker are great pickups before finishing a build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start E then W then Q before maxing E then W then Q, taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Flash and Smite. Starting the game, your main focus is going to be on getting level 6 as fast as possible. So, you almost always want to do a full clear of your jungle to hit level 4 to fight for Scuttle Crab if needed. From here, you can look for a gank. When looking for a gank, always consider what CC your team brings, what escapes the enemy have, and where the lane is pushed to. Entering the mid game, you have a massive priority on getting dragons. You absolutely love skirmishing, so if you can force 2v2s and 3v3s, you deal so much AoE damage you're at a great advantage. And of course, each of these fights you win, you can convert into an objective, and if it's a dragon, you spike even harder. Entering late game team fights, you can play in a couple of different ways. You can play as your teams engage. There's nothing scarier than a Shivana from Fog of War dragoning over your entire team throwing out silly amounts of AoE damage. If a couple of enemies are grouped, there's a good chance you simply remove multiple of them from the map immediately. But you can also play as a pseudo backline mage. If you're already in dragon form, your E's do dumb amounts of damage. Spamming out a few of them before going in is incredibly viable. And that's how to play Shivana Jungle. If this video helped you, leave it a like and comment below who you want to see next.